Hey everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for tough times is, God says start fasting once a week to get closer to me daily. It's important that we all fast. You have to program in your mind, program in your schedule, that one day out of the week, and I'm going to tell you this, you start fasting one day, it becomes two days, then three days, then four days, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then ten. Because it's something about when you put God first. You have to put God in the center of your life. There's so much things that is going on, and we have to make sure that we are praying and fasting. Because some of us, listen to me, some of us, we call ourselves a Christian. But we ain't living holy. We ain't living sanctified. If you want to be a Christian, you got to pray and fast. Every time they have a church on Sunday, you run into the kitchen. Every time they have a church on Thursday, you run into the kitchen. You should be running to the altar and say, Lord, I need to be saved. That's the problem. I'm being honest with you. A lot of us, we eat too much. And you wonder why you overweight. And you wonder why you're not getting close to God. You got to let that plate go. You get macaroni cheese, potato salad, greens, and all this stuff. You got to learn how to pray. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 and 6, it reads, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. God is near us. And it's important that we pray and fast. That's, that keep your, your relationship strong. Listen to me. You got to train your body to fast. You got to train your, your body to get it together. I'm going to fast because I want to get close to God. I'm going to fast because I need to know who God is. I'm being honest with you. When I was fasting, I knew I wanted to get closer. I knew I wanted to change my life around. I, I fast because it was a good thing to do to get close to God. See, people fasting because they starving themselves in the way of, oh, I'm going to try to lose weight. I wasn't trying to lose no weight. I was just trying to get close to God. The Bible says things come by prayer and fasting. So if the Bible telling us things come by prayer and fasting, sometimes you got to let go of that food. Start off with one day of fast. Then go to two, then three. Then move up. It's important that you train your body to fast. Because Jesus fasts. Then you fast. You got to fast. Ask the fast. You got to You gotta train your body to fast. Because you're going to go through something in your life. And it's, I'm telling you. It's going to feel like you hitting rock bottom. It's going to feel like you get ready to give up. It's going to feel like everything hitting you. It's important that you fast. And seek the Lord. It's some things in your life. That may go upside down. Maybe you losing your job. Maybe there's too many. Somebody setting you up. And all you can say is, I can't do this no more. I want to say to you, you got to put on the full arm of God. Going this way, you may lose family, friends, everybody. But you got to learn how to push yourself back to God. And know that God wants you to fast. It's time to fast. It's time to stop playing church. And be about your father business. So please, start fasting daily. It's time to do it daily. Do it once a day. And, and make God know that you are serious. Let him know that you are serious about your walk. And watch your see. Start seeking the Lord. And watch what he do for you. Okay? So God bless you. Be encouraged. Have a great, beautiful day. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Take care.